Vincent Rapisardi also tweeted that Evan Ingram has a passer rating of 34.6 when targeted this season. He ranks 218th among 223 pass catchers. He also has 21 career drops, which is the most by attendance since 2017. I guess if you're trying to sell Evan Ingram to another team, you just say, yeah, my man needs a change of scenery. He cannot handle the spotlight in New York. So maybe he'd be better suited in, I don't know, dude. Kansas City? No. Indianapolis, I think, is the one the one team that could use them. Dalvin Tomlinson ranks 10th among de- defensive tackles in run-stop win rate. So, you know, we're, we're good against the run, but then when the pass, when the team has to pass, we either can't get pressure or our secondary just uh, completely whiffs. There was a lot of, I think they were running a lot of zone, if I remember correctly, in the first half. I remember Aikman saying, like, why are they playing such soft zones against Wentz? He's just like, he's just taking what the Giants defense gives him. And that's why you had 14, 11 play, 13 play, 10 play drives, because it's like we're playing soft zone. And all they have to do is sit down in the open area and they're able to extend drives. Daniel Jones has 16 passes dropped through seven weeks of the season. He's on pace to have 36 of his passes dropped in 2020. So it's not, I mean, it's not just Evan Ingram, but he's a major contributor to that. Lawrence Tynes tweeted that Jones has been blitzed 101 times, which is second in the league, pressured 29.2% of the time, which is first, hurried 32 times, which is second, and he's also been hit 25 times, which is second most overall in the NFL. But yet, he's second in the NFL with a 2.6 second average uh, pocket time. So is he holding on to the ball too long? Are the wide receivers not getting open? Can he not read defenses? (laughs) We've said this before, but I think it's just a, a matter of like wide receivers not getting separation, him not trusting the wide receivers to make a play without the separation. Like he obviously on certain routes, if, if there's no separations like that touchdown to Tate, not a lot of separation. So he put it in a tight window. He's done that with Slayton down the field. But does he feel that same way when it's more mid range crossing curls, that kind of thing? I also I'm not a fan of a lot of these like play calls or concepts where it's like you have a go route and a dig route that are going to take a long time to develop. And then you don't have anything intermediate. Like I'm not, you know, I was critical and I said, what's up with all these fucking routes that are like less than five yards. That doesn't also doesn't mean, Hey, let's run 15 yard digs and go routes. You can run that, but let's just have something, you know, and you saw that a bunch of times on third down where it's like you have receivers that aren't even able to get into their route and like turn and look for the ball that they, the play, the route hasn't developed to the point where Jones can throw the ball, but the pressure's there and he has to get rid of the ball. Why are we making these patterns to the point where, I mean, Jones, Jones has to check down to something that's way underneath, but there has to be a point where you can run a pattern short, somewhat short of the sticks, not, not way short of the sticks It'll give you a better chance for success other than, hey, let's just like have Evan Ingram trickle out of the his, you know, to the out like a flat and just trickle out. Like we can't have him make a double move quickly like an angle route. I don't know. PFF said that Daniel Jones has a clean had a clean pocket on 20 of his 34 dropbacks last night and recorded an 88.3 passing grade on those plays. It's it was Jones best passing grade without pressure in his career so far. Deal, deal with that how you will. You get an offensive line around him and he has the wherewithal. Like this is where I disagree with everyone saying that Jones is not the guy. If he doesn't, if he has a clean pocket and he's not throwing the ball well, okay, move on. He's not your guy. But not only is he making throws when he has the clean pocket, he's also making very difficult throws on the run, scrambling when there's a lot of pressure. And I I don't know that you can say that for a lot of the other quarterbacks in the league. And it's like, yes, I see when Mahomes and Rodgers and I guess even Roethlisberger still to this day, when they get pressure, they move, they move around and out of the pocket. I mean, watching Russell Wilson is just like incredible, but even he makes stupid mistakes in that, in that game against the Cardinals, when they're in there, it's like goal to go. He has a running back come out to the flat and he just like, he just lobs it, just lobs it. And what was it? Buda Baker, I guess, comes out of nowhere. And that's when DK Metcalf chased him down. But it's like he makes it there. There are still bonehead throws that Russell Wilson makes. He took points off the board and the Seahawks lost because in part because of that. 
So yeah, he's going to make mistakes, but I mean, I think there just needs to be some better designed plays.